listening to Big Facts with Big Bank and DJ Scream. Live from the trap, music, music, sim. It's Big Bang, DJ Scream, Baby Jade. And it's time for another edition of Big Facts. And of course, Four. today, we are welcoming in the one and only Schooly to Big Facts. Long time coming, long time coming. Welcome, Schooly. Welcome, welcome to Big Facts, Schooly. What, what took it out? Oh. <laughs> cut it out. What took you so long to pull up on your partners, man? Uh, right. I had to get it right, man. I had to get ready. You had to get it right? Get pull his mic up to him, make sure we can hear school today, you know what I'm saying? I had to get ready, get it get ready to talk, y'all. Okay. So you ready? You in the you in the proper proper space of Yeah. All right. So what uh, for for the people, man, like that don't know like, Where do we start? Where, where do we start? Like let them know what's what time it is with school. Matter of fact, matter of fact, take us back to Cedar where it all began. Oh my god. Yes, come on, let's get it. Uh, Jay, Jay, know me. Jay been with me for a minute. Um, a know minute? Me too. Yeah, that's a long time. A minute <laughs> is a long time. <laughs> um, let's see. Rich kids started off eighth grade, really, and I met Caleb, and he was taking me to all the high school shit and. I was still in middle school, so I'm watching them in the neighborhood. Yeah, he was a baby. And I just wanted, I slick just wanted to be with them boys, yeah. How they wore, like they, like a movie, really, like. It was just, in high school, they do no pull up to the hood, and this, this old uh, Firebird blue mm-hmm. motherfucker always got cleaner clothes in the car, polo, everything. Shud, Charles, Sammy, Caleb, Big Man. Uh, shout out to Flay for president. Yeah, shout out to Flay. And when I got to ninth grade, you know, I made sure that I went to do it with them. Just to, you know, hang in the hallway. Same way. That was, that was my thought process. I'm with the Rick here now. So I um, got to ninth grade and we had been trying music out. Went to K Rab basement and I tried to do the same thing. I just, because that was always in my head when I was a child. Wasn't that when you got like the, the blue frohawk? No, I didn't do that until it was two rich kids. Oh, okay. Smart mouth. Okay, my bad. So, uh, <laughs> she's funny. So I had to, I had to make it through high school, dealing with daddy, grandma, mama. Daddy don't really want to let me do my thing until I finish school. So you know, I'm forcing it. I'm, I'm sneaking out at night. Grandma lying for me. I'm going to show Jay picking me up from Grandma house. Like I'm sneaking out the door, you hear me? Like I got pillars and shit on the sofa. Like like in me, you hear me? Um, cause, cause the show might some be real Ferris Bueller show shit. Might like, be like for real. four hours away, you know. So you know what showtime is? Like twelve o'clock, eleven o'clock at least. Uh, so I can't get home by two, three. So that overnight, uh, I gotta go to school in the morning. Yeah. Uh, and then I used to have to, check, you know. Even with going to girls' house, I had to sneak, sneak out, you know, mm-hmm. like, and just go spend the night. Um, Real and, Casanova right here. <laughs> and after that, uh, the people caught on to us, you know, and really was bigger than what we thought we were. Mm-hmm. I was uh, bigger than what I thought I was. Uh, I didn't know the type of potential I had back then, just, just being honest. Um, and I just, you know, just started going for it. I know, just sank them a little harder, you know, because I always kind of like wanted to be a singer. Like, R&B like the singer, Beyonce like, of the group. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> fuck up. Like, <laughs> like that, that spotlight um, on the stage, that one person or that one mic might got a guitar on me or something. Like, I just always pictured that for me, you know. So I just always used to add that into just my. My thing, like my my music, and that kind of became my thing, you know. Uh, like my fans, the people, they kind of put that on me, like. And I didn't understand what they were saying back then. Like I'm saying, like it kind of was over my head that I had that type of potential and power back then. Like, mm-hmm. uh, you know. How did rich kids go from being that group to a, a duo? And like, where where are y'all at with each other now? Everybody cool. Everybody, we still do a uh, rich kid reunions, and you know, no problem between the crew. Um, 
no pro no individual problem. Um, I guess it was. Keep it real, man. I ain't signed no papers, bro. You hear me? So like, I'm just keep it all it real. I ain't signed no papers, so that stopped the deal. You feel me? And then after that, you know, I, like I'm saying, I was watching Caleb, and I wanted to be with Caleb, so like, <coughs> that was that was like <coughs> my friend for real. He put me in rich kid, you know what I mean? So of course it stayed me and him, you know. Mm -hmm. After, but it, I guess it was when the deal didn't go through. Everybody, you know. Which deal is this? Why you ain't signed the paper? Yeah, what's it? It wasn't right. It wasn't. Oh yeah, right. lawyer. My dad. Oh, yeah. The best life. <laughs> By the grace of God, you know, like, I wasn't old enough to go do it on my own. Yeah. You know, everybody had them sign. Except me. And, you know, I thank God that, you know, we yeah, made the city. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, but, yeah, that was kind of like, I guess, why it was a breakup. But it, was, it seemed like everybody already had they, they solo mm. thing like on already ready, motion. like, ready yeah. to, mm. like, oh, yeah, I can wait for that. Boom. You know, cause yeah. like as soon as I, the, like two days later, this is no bullshit. Like two days later, uh, uh, Jim John Nine, Jose Guapo, then Shaw was already pushing the Fifth Street, uh, shit. Like uh, mm -hmm. while we was rapping, you know, cause we all was together. Like so, his Southside Crews view, you know, we was in time. Like Raw Mafia, all that yeah, shit. So, yeah. So um, he went straight that. John went, Jose Guapo, you know what I'm saying? So like, it was working for him, everybody. Me and Caleb, we said we're gonna stick it out. We kept the rich kid and I ain't going. Went about four more, four, five more years, you know? And actually when that breakup happened, it wasn't no breakup, Caleb actually asked me while we was in LA. Uh, yeah, we was in LA. I think it was rolling out or something. And Caleb asked me, what you think about going solo, little girl? And I just, I'm just behind you 100%. That real? And it was, you know, it, I couldn't believe he asked me that. You know what I mean? So, yeah. And I was, as, like you said, I'm like, that real. That's but you had been hearing that, y'all had been hearing that nigga like, school, you got yeah. it on your own. You had been yeah. hearing that. You yeah, know from the get go. Like, yeah. uh, dozens of, of, of street street niggas, uh, uh, niggas with money, uh, labels, whatever, yeah. you know, trying to get me. <laughs> By myself while I was, you know, with them. It was your man. Yeah, you know, like uh, it was a couple altercations, man, at, 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 at club shit, man. Uh, while I was with uh, KT, them, man. You know, I've been a lot of shit go down. You know, a lot of people don't try to have me, and they, you know, but just I don't know. I always wanted to make the right decision. You so, missed them days when y'all was just fucking up. Figure eight is crucial. Y'all just go fuck it up. Bad ass shit up. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Uh, to tell you the truth, bro, I feel like I had a little more confidence than I do now back what? then, bro. Yeah. Like, because it was the way I look at myself back then. I'm talking about literally, like, on the screen. Like, look at my old video. The way I got on stage, bro, my demeanor, like, don't give a fuck. Who yeah. in this motherfucker? Yeah, don't yeah, give a fuck. Yeah, what yeah, records shit. you done sold? None yeah. of that. I get on this stage. Yeah, look the same way. Like yeah. they post to get yeah, them go do what they doing, yeah, yeah. and they doing it. So like, I feel like I had more confidence back then, just on the on the music part. I mean, on the performing part. Like just knowing what I'm. You know, it kind of looked like I knew what I was doing. Like I knew what I had going on. You know, but I know I didn't. Just, you know. Yeah, because you weren't you weren't trying to do it. Yeah. That's what it was. Like man, it was natural. Just doing it. Yeah, yeah. you just doing that shit. And then, you know, shit like like me, I'm I'm, I'm a little different. I don't know, like I'm scared of I'm scared of small crowd. Cause I, I guess cause I was spoiled into the game, like our first little shows was birthday bash and shit. Mm. Like, so like I'm afraid of like I kinda like all up in front of a small crowd of people. Inside of yeah, like yeah. It, I don't know. Like, like I'm just now starting to rap or something. But if it's live, I'm coming out there like I just said. Still, like yeah. I'm older. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, like, yeah, how it's supposed to go. And I, I feel like I would just spoil too much because I'd be expecting that every time. You hear me? Sometimes every time ain't gonna go like that. You know, until you just do what you're supposed to do. Get all the way up through that. What kind of? I know y'all niggas setting trends like a motherfucker. Man. Me, I put my hand up for the singing and rapping, man, on this, on this end Thanks. of the, 
on this end of the map, whatever. I can't, I'm gonna tell you, it's two it. people before you. you it's I mean, two yeah, people. It's, sure. I'm gonna tell you who it is. For sure. Kilo yes. and CeeLo. Yeah. Mm. That's it. For sure. Mm. Kilo in Atlanta, and CeeLo. In Atlanta, yeah, That's it. Sure. That's it. Mm. Mm. Then when you came, this shit switched. Yeah. So for like, sure. do you do no you cap. do you True have story. like one of those like every time you hear a nigga that sounds like you, do you have one of those like all these niggas are my sons moments? Nah, I ain't. I mean, I have those moments. Uh, but it, they come on, nigga. This is big thing. No, I'm saying on. I have those moments, but they're rare. Like I don't know. I'm, I'm too humble, I guess. And I think I need to break that. But I don't. It's. But you do agree. I do agree that niggas. You owe do me. agree. Niggas owe me. Overly. Niggas owe me. Okay, let's just get that clear. But I don't. I'm not one of them. That's just. I don't feel like that's cool to just be one of them people. Like, bro, y'all need to owe me. Like, like I a man. Feel like I need to get. On my shit and get the right there, cause, exactly. cause basically like this game so damn fake and and stupid. Well, like, every time you step on a record, though, still you stepping on the motherfucker. Yeah. 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 that's the classic. Mm-hmm. They got yes, them um that yes, shit that y'all just dropped with Boot. Yep, mm-hmm. classic. Yeah, that shit classic. Yeah, that shit classic. It's like mm-hmm. sleeping John. Yeah, I, I I I I try to come and you know set the record every time I come get on some. You know, leave a stamp. Mm-hmm. You do that for sure. I feel like you still though. I mean, I don't know how are you writing for other people that we do know and don't know about. Uh, I have. Okay, I, have. I just feel like it. We ain't gotta. I have people. People have written for me before, but they don't like. I don't. All my music, most of my music. This is probably like you can count on your hands songs mm-hmm. like the people don't wrote for me. Mm-hmm. Um, but I really write most of my music. Just me. You have a tune in my head, you're crazy. I can't. So, like, what's your what's your creative process like when you're in the process of creating? Like, what do you need to have? What kind of vibe do you have to be in? Like, what kind of space do you like to create in? All that kind of shit to make those hits. I got tell you the truth. I got different ones because it's uh, like I could be just you know just happy just. Chilling, I'm like, like on some just made some money happiness. Mm-hmm. Want to go in? Uh, some, a different type of music might come out of that from when, like, opposed to when I'm angry, something just happened. Right. And I I've been sitting on it for two three days. Go to the studio and vent. And that's one of them pain songs that y'all love. You get what I'm saying? So it's, it's, I have different ones. The processes. Okay. It's, but it all comes from me visually seeing things or just feeling certain ways in real life. Okay. If you if somebody asks you the question, I mean, who you think the hardest from that era, who you think like the hardest group is, maybe outside of Rich Kids, because you had Shot Boys, you had Defoil, you had Franchise, you had different groups. So outside of Rich Kids. Why you just name them? <laughs> <laughs> Outside of Rich Kid. You just named them, boy. Who that? Which Shot one? Boy, D4L, D4L. Who the hardest, though? Who was the one that inspired you? To, who was the who, who you feel like had I'm the hardest? I'm from Bankhead. You can't make me pick between DFB and D4L. Okay, that's fair. That's I had to try. Love, shout it out. Yes. You can't so make me do that because I love yeah. all them boys. Shout out nut. That's man, fair. You no. Know, that's fair. That's from the temp to born home. That shit was Yeah. I don't know. You know, so I can't. I could never pick between them. I got you. That's fair. They had always, to try them. They always, is, you know. <laughs> yeah. But it is, you know. Uh, like when you sitting there looking at, I just can't even party like a rock like star. Like them fuck because they fuck the club. They kind of, they kind of set the record. Like on some, boy, you can go further than what you think you can go. Yeah, yeah. like from right here, <laughs> exactly. yeah, yeah, from the west side, yeah, like this yeah, side. Yeah, you, you can go somewhere. Yeah, they, yeah. really so, yeah. they really showed. They really showed a lot of people that, like, when they did what they did, a lot of people didn't go that far that quick. How they did their thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was like that song just. That was that's probably like the first time I seen that, and I seen a couple more artists do that same thing, like just shoot, shoot, shoot. Mm-hmm. Man, it was like it was a hit. Every week coming yes. out of that uh, west side, yeah. that yeah. crucial, yeah. and that pool yeah. valley, and yeah, the pool valley, yeah, yeah, damn, that's a new banger. Mm-hmm. Like niggas, niggas making songs, Jet to Play say, yeah, Jet to Play say, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah,
in Atlanta. What you got? That's when you know what you got. Yeah. That's when you, you if, if, if crucial, fuck it with it. Mm-hmm. Bro. Oh my God, that's a hard crowd to please, bro. Shit, bro. That's, that's when I made that song, I said, I'm finna do something go play at Crucial. I swear to God. Mm-hmm. I gotta have me a song. Yeah. That's just how niggas think. Like, yeah. I gotta have me a song for the. And that yeah. shit was crazy. <laughs> they were fucking with it. So it's it, it, crazy, bro. Bankhead is a hard place to just break. You know, yeah. So where do niggas yeah. go Crazy now shit. to break their music in the city? Internet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now, it ain't yeah, really. Nowadays it's, yeah. nowadays it's internet. Like, you just, because me, I just start hearing about people like after I probably hear a song or song, somebody might be sitting in their car playing a song or something. Mm-hmm. And then somebody, I just put two and two together. Somebody might say the name of, y'all ain't heard that? Me? Oh, that might be what that was. Mm. Uh-huh, they be finding out now. And the oh, but you know another place too, like these kids, the kid. No, no, no. The oh. kids, like the kids, are like controlling what's hot and what's not. I don't know if it's just I in Atlanta, like cause just like, like that's how I got turned on the anti. Okay, yeah. Like mm-hmm. my niece and nephew, they like seven, eight years yeah, old, but yeah, that's they singing murder, bitch. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. on some crazy shit, and he's taking over the internet. He too hard. He's too hard. Bro, bro, bro. He's too hard. Yeah, I know, bro. Wrong with you. Nothing. <laughs> so somebody, and I think we talked a little bit about this before, man. If somebody was like, man, they feel like Schoolie is underrated and hang got his flowers and the proper props and all that shit. Like, what would you? What would be your response to if your fans say that or somebody say that to Schoolie? That I haven't received them. Mm-hmm. You know, they're telling the truth. Uh, I don't believe. Then there go again. You know, I don't like that sitting here being like weak and like I'm just like just complaining. Mm-hmm. You know, but I ain't. I, I know, so I don't be tripping. Like, I know they ain't. They know too that they haven't given me my flowers. Uh, really, just act like they know what I'm capable of. Or act like they know who I am. Like I'm saying, it's. As soon as I get in the door, the same niggas that just turned their back on me are going to be like, oh, it took you so long, man. I'm waiting on you. Mm. That's how I feel like the game is, you know? Yeah. yeah. Right. Hey, it took, took you so long, bro. You could have been put your hand back here and pulled me up the wall. Mm. But it's just, you know, if another, if don't nobody feel like I was feeling when I was coming up about them, you know, how I was going. Because mm. basically, bro. Everybody I did music with, big. I don't want to put it bigger than me. I don't want to put it like, you know, uh, ain't nobody just, you know, like just try to, hey, come on, get you up, little bro, come on, come on, little bro, you know, you know I'd be looking for that, but it, nigga, I ain't like that. You so think, you think it's I because gotta, I can't be naive forever. You think Basically drop what this I'm shit? Trying to say. That's yeah, yeah, drop this shit. Yeah, yeah, but and, drop this shit. And you think the perception might be like you got that shit? I know you got that shit. Dude, Niggas look at drop. you on both sides too, like R and B. I don't, I don't like, like, like. I challenge myself uh, with with this producer, um, Troy Taylor. I don't sound different when I do R and B music, and you know I'm gonna keep this this rap shit going. I, don't, I honestly don't think nobody can fuck with me with a pen. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, yeah, I don't think nobody can fuck with me. <laughs> what you been saying, Now I would say you think it's just the perception may be like you're your own boss. Like, ain't nobody kind of yeah. trying to come to just sign you up under them because they like, man, we feel like Schooly got it on his yeah. own. Like, he got it. Yeah, I feel like certain amount of a certain amount of people feel like that, too. Uh, that... They feel like I'm already there because I get that all the time. Like, what you mean, bro? When you when you make it, you you already out there. Like, boy, you like, just yeah. don't know. That's, like, that's how they feel. That's how they feel. That's how they feel. That's how they feel. So how 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 often you been in the studio? You in the studio every day? Yeah, I pull up to the studio every day. Like, even if I don't work, but I'm in there every day. Like, I try to do some like, every. I got some of his music though. But you said you said really earlier that drop. you ain't been dropping. Why you ain't been dropping? I couldn't even tell you. What the tell fuck you. does that mean? I, he's saying I, bullshit. I basically, it. it, it's, it's like drop the music. Yeah. Bro. That's all a nigga I do. Drop the music. If it was me, man. If it was all on me, 
So basically, you're saying that somebody is holding you up from dropping music? That's what you're saying? Yeah, it's the process. I guess it's the process for dropping shit. And who? What you mean, who? Who's holding you up from dropping the music? That's what the fuck is <laughs> don't, 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 the, don't the young niggas just put it on SoundCloud? I guess that's what we said. Like, I mean, I guess you can do that, but I, I don't know. I guess See, I you thinking, I'm going to tell you what you're doing. Like you just said about the big crowd. Yeah. You thinking your rollout got to be a certain way. You think yeah. you drop the music, bro. You I got don't the fan. I, okay. All right. You get what I'm saying? I take that. Then it will. But I don't feel like that, though. I feel like how he feel like this shit can be put out. Every hour, Trills. SoundCloud. These young niggas going up, going like, about Trills. Drop Trills. Drop Trills. Anything, but drop that shit, bro. You, you had these young, young niggas fucked up, bro. Even the artists, the artists that's, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, bro, niggas, you were doing some other shit, bro, with your voice. And with, you know what I'm just saying? Like, the whole shit. Yeah. That shit turned into how music sound now. All over the world. But you, you niggas wouldn't know that it ain't from the city. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, all, all the surrounding cities, cause they know. Like yeah, that's the what I'm saying. Circuit, they know. They they gotta drop circuit, the they know. That's it. I'm gonna fuck. Hey, y'all. Leave here now and do some trolls. <laughs> cause you gotta know you got that shit. Yeah, sure. Every time you come, you come hard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta drop that, that shit. Too. However it come, drop it. So what's the hold up? Shit. <laughs> Like real shit, you know. Ask you the truth. What's the hold up on the on the on the, on the shit? Basically, it probably. I, I guess it's like it's the label. I guess you know they take their time to put put stuff out, and it got. I guess it got to go through a process of being put out. But in the meantime, okay, you and for sure you should work that's with your me. label. That's me. In the meantime, what we doing? Like, I, you know, drop it, say, it you on your drop you it. Can go. That was man. Just I, go I, man. Crazy. Crazy. But like, do, my tease some, some shit on Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Ain't got no trouble. But the fuck with the one the people start asking for. They so tired of me teasing them on Instagram, bro. I, I don't even want to keep saying don't comment, bro. Listen, bro, don't post nothing else bro, <laughs> until you drop, man. You told me you dropped last month, nigga. Don't post nothing else, bro. I don't want to see this. Like, I'm yeah. getting them type of comment. Threats. Type of, yes. Threats. Think about that music. Them type of DM. Like, boy, yeah, not that's playing. Crazy. Women not playing. Like, when are you dropping? You know. Uh, but I don't know. Sleeping John. Sleeping John. Is there anything you would have did different? Like, just in your career, like a different. A different uh, decision. Not sign with no major. Never sign with no major like mm. ever. ever. Why? Not now time that I did like never sign with no major like I probably, I probably would would never do that if I had the chance. Mm. And why is that? Because it it feels like a like a. Probation. Strings on you, like somebody got them strings on you, like a puppet. I don't know if it don't feel like you in control no more. So do you think that would be goddamn like kind of like because in the beginning it wasn't even about the money, it wasn't about the money, yeah. but now it was just like that's that's why you saying you seen more. What you said earlier, you seen more confidence then yeah. because mm -hmm. it's like it was less stress and less shit to think about. Yeah, outside of what you're doing and shit. Yeah, yeah. It definitely was. So what 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 a nigga gotta do to get the farm back in this shit though? What you think? I ain't gonna say I lost the fun. But like drop. Drop <laughs> drop this it. Drop nigga mm -hmm. drop this shit. With me I think it's a it's um uh, it's seeing me. A little more like mm -hmm. you know, Presence. seeing me a little more. Yeah. Uh, video, whether it's video or in in person, or just uh, popping out guests on yeah, concerts yeah. and mm -hmm. shit. And and sometimes Tools people want to see other people fucking with you too. See if you showing progress. Some people want to see progress. Some people want to see peers. somebody else fucking with you. Some people want to see if you fucking with yourself. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. It's all that shit being balanced. In one. And you feeling a whole totally different way in the midst of it, you know. You just want to So you gonna reach out to some niggas, try and get some niggas to uh, jump on some records and shit? 
Yeah, man. A lot of, a lot of rappers. Did you or did you or did you just <laughs> for, let do it and let it be done or did you, bro? What's up? I need you on there. Did that? I don't, listen, I don't, I'm scared of rejection, man. So, you can't be no, in no, this no, shit, listen, though. I'm you can't like, be. I'm Niggas, I've been telling them to ask you when they want you but to do it. But I'm scared of rejection, and I asked them more than once, more than twice, more than three times. But it could have just not been time. I'm going to keep asking until you say no. Don't, I ain't finna get in my feelings. Say no. That's what I'm saying. I ain't keep getting asking. my feelings. Keep asking. Keep on asking. <laughs> say right. no, nigga. Hey, bro, I still got this motherfucker right here. Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, hold on, fuck. You hear me? My nigga, I be on that one, bro. Damn. My nigga had one, nigga had one, 75,000 for a little bird, but they asked you to get on whatever, like, it's, hey, man, boy, damn, that's crazy. Yeah, that different. Oh. Shit get wicked sometimes. What's up? And it ain't a matter of having the money, it ain't, it's just like, damn, bro. How could, yeah. Fuck. Who? Like, how dare you? People don't do that. Hell. I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying, like, like I'm a lame. Shit. Yeah, I feel. I'm a play. <laughs> I've been some crazy <laughs> situations. Yeah. Like, yeah. People don't try. They like, oh, play for real. Like, I'm just <laughs> boy. Listen, boy. But that shit make a nigga feel like, God. Shit, crazy. Why the hell are you so cool? See, but now niggas be trying. So nigga cool. be trying to work no budget. Nigga don't know another nigga's situation, so the nigga feel like, okay, you got this going on, bro. Tell them folks they got that. You know what I'm saying? That one you but why you working that one on me? On though? me, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, why you working that one on me? I ain't never hit you with the boy. You need to check, give me a little something, boy. Nah, put him on for you. Want me to do for you? I don't hit that. Yeah. Like that. Wow. Mm. Yeah, you know, so like I don't know, man. I don't know. I just always felt isolated for a while, man. I don't know people. people but get what you gotta look at shit. For, you gotta look at everything in the in the way of a form of a blessing, bro. Maybe you're not meant, you may, may be meant to be right here by yourself, dropping. Yeah. Yeah. That's how nigga gotta look at it, bro. At the end of the day, all right, y'all nigga, God might be making y'all fuck nigga act like that. So I'm finna go on the hell of my business. Right. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you was already, nigga, they already been trying to pull you. I don't give a damn from, the, from when it was four, six niggas to yeah. one, to two niggas to you. Everybody remember saying, shout out to one. Right? Yeah. Jay beat on one. She dropped that shit. For what it is, tell them folks drop man, drop my music or drop me. Mm. Boy, that the one on my own. Yeah, like drop my music or drop me. That's just what it what it is. Cause I gotta keep going. I can't I can't let you hold me up. Yeah. That's exactly what they do. Got that smoke too. You gonna let her hear some of that shit for me? <laughs> yeah, whatever. I got shit. You want to? Who you you said? What producer you been working with? Uh, Troy Taylor, uh, that's that's the one I said. Just been, got you in your R&B yeah, bag? Yeah, got me in my R&B bag, challenging myself, challenging my voice, trying to, you know, to see the extent it can go. Got me using my diaphragm, man. Sound good, man. Outside of the music, you still been on, like, you be on the video games, all this shit. And then, like, yeah, I be on PC, we be gaming. Uh, got our own little world. Uh, shout out to Shot Lotto, shout out to Mark. Uh, shot lot of RP, so I be kind of including that with my music too. Um, a couple of dudes on there, a couple of my friends. Uh, they do artwork. I had one of them, you know, kind of include, trying to include kind of like both of the words. I had one of them make a make the cover for one of the singles I'm about to drop, and I got a video coming out for it. It's called I've Been Missing, and I kind of like been trying to make my song titles like a message until this album come out. You get what I'm saying? So this. One of these, this next single and this videos come out supposed to be called uh, I've I been missing, and I kind of like just talking about how I've been sleeping game. Like you've been saying, mm -hmm. it make you like just love R and B like that. Like just want to do the R and B shit. My daddy can sing like a motherfucker. Uh, I'm talking about Brian McKnight type shit in person type shit like the real voice like funeral. <laughs> like, for, like, for real, like man. Like, yeah, so like, it's, crying, boys. I, you know, I kind of like just got that from him and just watching just all type of videos and just music, you know, just period. Um, my uncle sang too. Who your favorite RB artist? That's all the time. Ooh, that's hard. That's hard too, but I'm finding out shit now. Like finding out music now that that I kind of like heard when I was little, and then I'm really knowing what the songs say now. Like, oh I'm yeah, figuring out. You know, like yeah. I'm still, you know, figuring out music, and 
So I be liking shit like a needle baker, bro. Yeah. Three hundred six five days, bro. I'm in one fucking house saying that. Like, mm-hmm. like well, I need to make one of these. Like <laughs> three hundred sixty five days, again. Really like, <laughs> it just be, you know. So it, it's different. It ain't even just no no man or woman. It's a lot. It's just the music. Yeah. yeah. It's music. Uh, I can say I want like the t- some times probably was like the seventies, eighties, sixties music. Um, I kind of <laughs> kind of still like that type shit. So they say you just never really got that hand. They saying like, damn, I ain't know they. Yeah, said certain that. song like, yeah. oh, that what she was saying? Oh, that what he was talking about? Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. What about uh, what we was talking about those trends? Do you feel like you or y'all, did y'all start the skinny jean shit? I feel like it. I mean, not, no, no. Like, Who's that? That was back in the day. Nah, about, we talking about like brought it back, about, like made niggas yeah, just Yeah, I, I feel like we did. I feel like we did, Um, because this is in the middle. But y'all were like trolls, though. We, we did that skinny, too. Skinny, skinny, skinny. We, we did yeah. that too. Like, I think, like, it was the, 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 when the trend the turned, like when it when the trend turned, like right. the true religion was like that 07, 08 when yeah. we was, when yeah. we started when I got with Red Kid, yeah. like we started. So, like I'm telling you, I'm saying Caleb they don't clean the clothes. Like that's me seeing them with true religion, rock and republic, right. and yeah. clean the clothes. Yeah. They came yeah. and got them from the clean, yeah. like yeah. dozens on, like. <laughs> Fuck, yeah, like, <laughs> Mac Jean like all shit. So it's like, yep. Yep. that shit I want to wear, nigga. I I always it's so crazy. Like I kind of feel like I brought back that little flooded bottom, the bell bottom shit too. Mm. You know, um, cause I always back then I wanted to boot cut the motherfucker go all the way over your chin mm. and just showing the front of your chin. That was just that was my Wait, little flash. Like flash. Yeah, yeah, like being yeah, yeah, like yeah. looking like Lil Wayne. Mm-hmm. That was me. That was me. That was always my like. Shouted is been my idol since I started rapping. Like mm-hmm. Lil Wayne, I used to love the way the tilt rap. You know, when I was a yeah. little boy, like to shout it, shout it with five, and he was from the city. Yeah. Um, but Wayne, so me, and my clothes. I just every time I want, however he was on a picture, in a video, how he was standing, whatever. Mm-hmm. I need to have them clothes so I can look like that. <laughs> <laughs> I need my pants to be looking like that. Like so we fast yeah. forward. We fast forward from them time when we were wearing them big baggy pants, uh, the big true holding on while we perform to skinnies. Mm-hmm. And Wayne kind of did the same thing mm-hmm. at that same time. Cause if you remember, like Wayne had a big pants with the chucks and shit, like a big yeah. pants with the Alpha One. I actually just redid his cover for Carter too. For yeah. Song, for uh, for a song, a single off of the album, yeah. called Oh Eight Wayne. I feel like on on that two oh six oh seven oh eight. Mm-hmm. Telling kind of by fuck with me. <laughs> I'm telling you. So you wearing the baits and shit. Then. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Doing push ups on every video. As soon as I hop on stage, like all type of shit. Like I'm doing <laughs> Wayne one for you. Hear me? Yeah. That, that. Right, go. Um, yeah. But basically, man, I'm just trying. To Frank wearing this to bro, I'm still that nigga. I'm still him. I ain't lost a dab of it. Like, period. Not a thing. Like, but I think niggas know that, though. I do, too. Some people, some people scared of, I feel like some people scared of what I can become. Or what I can do, what position you gonna be in? Yeah, if if I get that chance, and if they got something to do with it, they ain't gonna let it happen. Type shit. Like, that's how I feel. That's how I be feeling. Sometimes. So you feel like a lot of these niggas be like oh the nuts, cop yeah. blocking. Yeah, yeah. And throughout the years, like. We ain't gonna but say I feel like, like it done But happen. that's the name of the game though. I'm saying it done happen. I don't just feel like it done happen. Like, nigga. No, but I'm saying like that's the name of the game, bro. When a nigga when you that motherfucker wanna try their best to sh- make you unbelieve in yourself. Yeah. When you yeah. that, I know I'm gonna have to stand next to that. That's why niggas just got on that. Mm-hmm. Nigga feel like I know I gotta stand next, especially if I got a little some of it from you. Mm-hmm. I gotta right. stand next to you, now you're gonna show these folks that you can do you better than I'm doing you. Mm-hmm. Right. Then you know one if one person that uh 
Yeah, I gotta give it like that one person, bro. That's real life, like that um made it all the way up through there, like type shit, and up there with all of just doing his thing at the time, and he had his like his stardom. So I just do an interview and tell them, bro, oh yeah, I have to put that schoolie in there. Sure. Middle. Why oh yeah, man, yeah. Oh yeah. Like so I to do an interview, like you know, he was just he was big before he went went to jail, like. Mm-hmm. Shout to do an interview and tell them like that's hard. These right. folks that's around the world, these probably Australian um, interviewers and everything. Yeah. Like, like got to put that school in there every time I when I, when I do my thing. You know, I, I might just rap. They would ask him how he, his creative process, and mm-hmm. like don't nobody do that. Just that small little thing, you know, like that shit mean a lot to me. Right. That little shit like that, like that mean a lot to me. Ain't nobody ever did that. You know what I mean? Y'all know who all I done did music with. Shout it, me and him, we meet at uh, Rolling Loud in Miami. It rained like a motherfucker. Me and him talking in the rain. Who? Who? Melly. Melly. Oh, Melly. Shout to come back down in motherfucker in, in probably like four days when we get back. Walk in the studio room with me. I got a session. We just start going in. Yeah. The crew, the whole crew. Mm. Boy, you don't know, but he love you. Boy, he love you, boy. Swear to God, like the whole crew surround me. That's hard. He, he over there finna walk in the booth. They're like, boy, you just don't know. He love you, bro. He can't believe you, bro. Like, and this ain't no no trying yeah, to say yeah, like nah, that. Nah, he, like, he, nah, he, nah, he nah, a fan type shit. I'm talking about like, nah, this real what I'm saying. Like, like, that's some real nigga shit. Because he could have he could have never said that in his life. And he just hit it. Yes, like, he could have so, hit so it. So he died. Like, everybody like, else doing like, he could have hit it. But he <laughs> yeah, like, that's what niggas was going to do, bro. Like, and I'm telling you the best he way. Said to, like they do. That's how they do. But the best <laughs> way to fight that shit is that music. Yes. That's the best war tactic. Shit, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> when you had the 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 Lucci verse, what what they gonna say? Well, schooly verse. They don't sound good. That what are they gonna say? He's singing this. That's what I'm saying. And it's so crazy. Like that song right there, I feel like was so powerful that I can pull one of those eight ball and MJG motherfuckers. Like, like soon as Lucha get out, I feel like soon as Lucha get out, I can do the video to that song. That song's so old, and it's still gonna do. Yes. Mm-hmm. That was crazy. Like that song never got a video shot to it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That shit ready. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fight that shit, shit with, Fight that shit with music. You say you you, you base saying, bro, I remember y'all need to be fan that kind of they all trying to act like y'all don't really know who a nigga like this school. Like That's I don't remember. <coughs> That's and what you're I saying. Shit, myself. shit, basically, yeah, but I don't know <laughs> if I you fan that, but y'all nigga needed me. Fan out. just want you, but you can't expect you from other people, though. I had to learn that from my yeah. mom. You can't, you can't expect niggas to be how you would be. Yeah. I had to my learn that, too. Be, my you, mom you, you, and my dad told me that I had to learn that. Yeah, the whole time you, you be helping them niggas, niggas from, yeah. from nobody else. Like, uh-uh. Nobody gonna do nothing like you do it. You just fuck around and be heartbroken every time. Mm. I had to break that. Mm. Damn. Hard to steal now, man. Outside of the city, what, who, who else music you listen to? Like, what's some shit you listen to? Um, I like the deep, like I'm, I'm fucking around with the Detroit sound. Uh, I'm gonna my buddies for a minute. Uh, it's a few of them, it's a few of them. A lot of niggas from Detroit, and a lot of niggas from Detroit was fucking with my music already when they started, mm-hmm. like. You know, coming down here. Yeah. And yeah. I was surprised with that too, like, because these Detroit niggas, like, you know, so they ain't really gonna, they ain't really gonna say that either, like, just, you know, like, <laughs> I, I got my shit going on already. That's how Detroit niggas is, so. Yeah. You know, niggas. Fuck with a nigga. Fuck with a nigga. Yeah. That shit, I'll be grateful for that type of shit. Like, y'all, y'all fuck with a nigga. Y'all know who a nigga is and tell a nigga you know who a nigga is. Like, you ain't trying to kick no. Who, who you said all oh, that? Like, nigga done kick that problem. What? Who, who you said? School? Stop. School? Playing. School who? All oh, that. Man, that's it. Man, man, stop playing. Bro. All right. You better smash these nigga bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I done hit a couple nigga whole folk. You know, I don't be on no. Yeah, that would present a problem. Yeah, you know, that usually be what it be, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I ain't. Yeah. 
But I ain't on that now. Like I ain't, I ain't really just. Not nobody who can make no no. <laughs> not nobody who can make no decision. No, right, no quit, big decision quit trying like that. to clean that shit up, like man. That. I ain't cleaning nothing up. Quit trying to clean it up. Oh. It is what it is. Yeah, for sure. But that ain't the, that ain't the reason, man. That nigga holding their nuts on me. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. Yeah, but I don't nigga, know. I just, it is. Is it? That's nigga, the that thing. I'm just saying. I don't know. I feel like I'm past that. They might not be. Yeah, they not. I don't see no other reason. Yeah, back up. Oh, I don't be on no rant. I don't be fucking with nobody. I don't just go on this mall and be trolling niggas. None of this shit, man. I don't know what it is, bro. I just want to do music, bro. I don't want no smoke, bro. I don't <laughs> <shit. laughs> I just, be want, I just want to make music, but I just want to get to where I feel like I'm supposed to be. So I can show a nigga how you really use this game to help another person, whether it's a woman, female, child, whatever. Mm, yeah. How you use this game for real and, and, and don't like take advantage. You just use it. I, I don't know. I feel like I can show, show people how it really works. Uh, how it's supposed to go. What's some shit you think you'll do differently as you ascend and get there? Like, what's some shit you think you'll do differently from other niggas? Give them a chance. Mm. Give them a chance. Mm. That's all. Yeah, give them a chance. I feel like that's all it takes. You need it's, it's a chance. You got it. You got it. So, it, but uh, just keeping the. It's gonna come a point where, if if the narrative is people won't give you a chance, you just have to make your own chance. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Take it, you take the chance. Yeah. It's Atlanta. I mean, that's what's gonna it. have to it's come Atlanta. down to. Atlanta. Everybody from the city take it. Yeah, so no matter how you look at it, that's how it's gonna have to be. Because we can also go back to the saying that ain't nobody gonna give you shit and don't nobody owe you shit. And for nah, all of us in nah, the, nah. You know but but it should be hard to look at it like that yeah. when you knowing what your heart what was your for heart person. Was for so then they put your heart yeah. in it. Yeah. But this sure. ain't no shit you can't put your heart. Yeah, put your heart in. Yeah. Exactly. You know what, what I'm saying? saying? That's what it is. Exactly. Like I know it. No matter how big I would have got, I would have kept it the same way I yeah. kept it. Yeah. yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? So now it's like, damn. Who? Right. That's exactly how it is, boy. That's exactly how it is. Like, I know how I would have kept it. Like, I don't see nobody doing it that, that I kept it real with. You feel me? You probably never will. Yeah, that's how this Honestly, shit Honestly, I had to learn that shit too. Like, and that's what put me in this uh, perspective of just, like you saying, man, I, just, I just need to do me. Like you saying too. Like, yeah. I just, I just need to do me. Uh, just go on. Show these folks yourself. Mm-hmm. Right. Maybe it's like you said. It's like it's not meant for me to be in alliance with nobody on my Ooh. way up. Or, mm-hmm. You know, period. I don't know. I do feel like everything happened for a reason. God yeah. got a plan. God for got sure. his own plan. You know, um, life's got its ups and downs, but God made like stairs and elevator for fools like us. Mm. You feel me? Man, that shit. That shit. That shit real. At the end of the day, man, it's like, don't nobody even want to hear your story if a nigga say, like, you just got some shit off the real. You came out. Niggas want to hear what you went through mm-hmm. and how, you know what I'm saying, this moment, yeah. that moment, your last moment. Then be like, okay, yeah, I can do it. Because a nigga wants inspiration off another nigga story. Mm-hmm. But that's how life is set up, though. Mm-hmm. Like, you ain't, name a nigga that ain't went through nothing. Just got somewhere. Mm-hmm. And you ain't getting nowhere if you ain't going to go through, like, to have mm-hmm. a story. Yeah. You ain't go through no type of... Tussle, no type of struggle, like of any kind. I don't know. Yeah, it's like your story ain't that exciting. Like, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like niggas, certain niggas is just built to be. Like I said, you never know what, which way God pulling you. Yeah. Right. Okay, they might it might be need to got down just get on this shit like this. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I need to got down come just hit my folks who fuck with me. If it's a million folk fuck with me, they gonna get me the goddamn ten. That's just how I go. Right. I'm gonna get a folk who fuck with me to fuck some fucking with. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Cause at the end of the day, like, I just knew, I just, I just knew I couldn't just be a rapper. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, some more. Yeah. Song, but I can, can't be no rapper because I don't like you said. I don't like the crowd. This shit give me anxiety. Goddamn, I can't get you. Goddamn, you gotta get them producers and this shit. Man, I don't talk to you, nigga. <laughs> I'm just being real. I ain't I fuck that shit. Them labels, I don't wanna deal with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Then, like you say, this shit create a lane for you. Mm -hmm. You know, you just go. You know what I'm saying? This shit, just okay. You can sit and smoke weed and talk school. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> record. We dropping it every week. We exactly. dropping more than rappers. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> we drop. <it>. Yeah. <laughs> shit. Boy. Shit. Being real. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. So we say fuck everything before the daylight. What's the, what's the plan moving forward? What's the next music? What's the next project? What's the what's the plan moving forward for school for your fans that's looking at you now? Like, all right. First and foremost, I appreciate the hell out of all of the people you're talking about, mm -hmm. fans, mm -hmm. supporters, whatever. You know. And the plan is progression, uh, consistency, yes, uh, dropping mm -hmm. back to back. If you know that can happen, but it's not so much gonna be an if no more because I'm kind of like trying to push the button mm -hmm. on it to be. So I can stand firm on it, like, let's keep going. It's, Cause I kind of like got a, a history of pausing. Yeah. And music and yeah. pausing. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like they're kind of like tainted with my chances of going where I was going. But why the pauses though? Situations, different situations. It's a lot of shit done happened uh, throughout my life and career. So, could some of the niggas that you feel like don't like be holding nuts really just feel like schooly bullshit, man? He ain't trying to do this shit. A lot of people probably feel like that because I ain't drunk. I feel like that. I feel like a lot of people might feel like, what the hell? What do you think he is? Nigga ain't drunk nothing. I want to hear some of your nigga shit. Yeah. 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 Nigga tripping. Like, and I kind of feel them because I ain't drunk. Yeah. That's what I was saying. That's what I was saying earlier. Just put the music out. Nigga, see, like, whoever, like, bro, you never know how this shit go, bro. One thing about a nigga don't want to goddamn take a nigga from hill to hill. Nigga want to goddamn see you like this and jump. Come on, bro. That's yeah. just how this shit go, bro. Like, cause niggas don't want to miss out on no moments. The one thing about these niggas now. You see, got them, okay, school is going up. Boy, let's get it in. That's just how this shit go. That's how it is. That's the game we're in. And it's so, it's so crazy, because. That wasn't how I was when we were coming up. I went on the wait. Who? Yeah, like who? What? What's the wave right now, boy? Let's go do a song with them, K. Like K went on it. We yeah. went on it. You I know, like it was a different city then too. Yeah, it was just a I different yeah. city. And it was like whatever we did with the whoever we did music with as rich kids. You know, like that's you know they kind of like shit. Fuck with y'all. Yeah, yeah, we get in, you know. It wasn't no, it wasn't never no shit like, hey, we need to go until we got with the labels. And that was when the, y'all need to chase the wave. And that's the thing. You get on this, these people right here, you get on their little wave and take off from, it's a plan, but that wasn't never how we were. They kind of yeah. redirected your focus. Yeah, and then I became so you know, so it's like, you know, I'm still figuring out what it is, how it's supposed to go. Yeah. I can't say I know it all. You let your little blunt burn out, do you? Where your, your little, uh, what that's called? Rossicata. Rossicata. School, you ain't never think about acting and shit? Yeah. Like movies and shit. All the time. You know, so what the fuck are you waiting on? You never tried your hand in? No. Well, I probably ain't got the opportunity yet, but I definitely want to try. Right? Then we just have, then we just say that you have to take opportunities? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I did a couple of, uh, you know, uh, movies. Like, uh, I don't know what to call them. What, what like some Tubi shit? It's like at the end of the day, bro, can't uh, nothing hold yeah, you up with you, school. Uh, can't nothing hold you up with you. You been a star, dog. Right. Came out of star. Since right. Look at that ass boy that had you in the club. Star. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> go star like straight up bro. i definitely you do help. thought about acting before for sure like what, what kind of role you think you'll play me i want to play me one time just First, yeah. I think I can have a move. Bro. I, I can lie. see him being like a like a church nigga. Like, shut up. <laughs> no, like you know how like um. And who you gonna be? <laughs> shut up. It's yeah. ain't about me. Yeah. He could be like one of them church niggas that like grew up singing in the church, and then he evolved into like a like a rock star, like you know one of those unholy or unsavory sound type like of the, like uh, artist. Like the you get what I'm movie. saying? Like, sound like the Chloe movie. That like um. Movie that just came out. I no, like the five heartbeats. I want man a horror some movie. Some shit like that. Said horror movie. I want man like a horror movie or a thriller. I want man some shit. What the fuck would you do in a horror movie? What you mean? Whatever, whatever, <laughs> whatever. It's up for some bullshit. Like, I'm just on a regular road. Would you be like the monster or like one of the niggas that got eight? I can't wait to play a monster. I can't wait to play a monster. What kind of monster would you play? I don't know. One of them. It'd be like a creature or like a chainsaw nigga or that'd like be what? Hard. That'd be hard. I get on Avengers, they make me something. One of the characters. Oh yeah, we're gonna manifest that Avengers. Yeah. But he got other than that, like I wanna be a vampire anyway, so like in you real see, life. Any of your songs any of your songs, like you can make it like a mini movie to a like video. Yeah. What if you remade so, Thriller? Yeah. I would do that. I mean I I had a song called Thriller before already though. When I first my first solo tape, it was kind of it was kind of hot. I remember, but I didn't do it. I didn't do the video too. It's never too late. No, I never. Your relationship. Hmm. Like, like, like when a female like about to get married type shit. No, no. So is there like a school girl? I got somebody I love. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you better see it. I got somebody I love for sure. But we ain't gonna get married or nothing like that. We ain't, ain't you know. That's what's up. Kinda, you got a kid? No kid. That's a plus. I get. I think that's a plus, like in America or anything. That's why you want to move. Yeah, twenty-eight. You know how many people think I'm thirty or up? Uh oh. I don't know. Like, I'm talking about so many people. Like, bro, I didn't know you were still in your 20s. You've been outside. Yeah. Yeah, since you were like 11. Yeah. I've been hitting these niggas baby moms and shit since I was. That's what it is. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, like. That's what it is. A kid. A baby. Shit will pick me up from school. <laughs> For real. Grown shit pick me up from school. Fast shit. Fast shit. <laughs> Tell you. Oh my God. This thing is crazy, man. You been grown before you was even grown. Yeah. I had a nice little child. I ain't gonna lie, man. I had Aww. some nice teens. You know. Life is not bad. Hell no. Nah. Drop, bro. That's it. You gotta drop. That's, That's it. it. Put that shit out there. Mm -hmm. Income. Drop by four or five videos off of it. Drop again. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's fuck what it do. Drop, 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 drop. Like, like that one I'm on for real. Like the next project is SB's world. You know, I'm into this little dinosaur shit because I feel like, you know, like dinosaurs, um, they stink. And I feel like I don't, they don't make nobody like me no more. Mm. Children even different now. Children, <laughs> so like you can't say they like, <laughs> like we, they different. Like so, like hey, they don't make, they don't make them like me. No more. I don't feel like I don't, you ain't gonna get no other me, and you ain't gonna get no other me. So <laughs> for real, the children, yeah, man, yeah. get out of here, man. I, I think I, feel, I honestly feel like I'm, oh I'm my the last God. of my breed. I'm telling you, yo, this is crazy. For real, I'm the last of my breed. So I, you know, I just look at it like that. Um. My kind of this thing type shit. So I'm a dinosaur. Um, and that's a that where kind of like sleeping giant came from. Dinosaur did you know, you know, leave a footprint everywhere it goes. Sleeping. You said what? Time to wake up. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Fuck that. Drop that shit. Back to back to back to back to back. Mm -hmm.
you talked about uh, like you know just just the camaraderie where like maybe artists kind of like not showing you the love they should but is there is is there somebody that does like hit you in the DM or call you from time to time like that you consider like a, a friend like yeah, 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 I don't have no enemies. Not enemies, mm-hmm. but I'm just saying like no somebody. Enemies, so like all of them consider, you know, you feel me, friends. But I do have, I know what you're saying. I do have certain people that, you know, just hit me. Uh, I even just check on them. Mm-hmm. You feel me? My seven. He loves you too. He's like a Melly, like for real. That nigga love the fuck out of you. Got everything going on in the world. He hit me. Shout out my my hit me me like you good. What you got going? Honorary. You hit me like out of nowhere. This this ain't because I just did something. Out of nowhere, shout out my hit me boom. Um, Sada, Sada baby, love me to death. Uh, Kevin Durant fuck with me. Kevin Durant DM me, gang. Mm. Type shit. Hey man, listen. Um, a lot of a lot of people fuck with me. You know, I just feel like whether people believe it or not, it's it's a lot of blocking just don't went on in my life. There's a lot of people that literally have come out of their mouth and said, "Don't fuck with that boy." Why though? Don't fuck with that boy. I don't. That's what I'm saying. I never figured that out. Who? <laughs> <laughs> nah, you got a lot of. Them. Why you think it did? Like what happened? Could you could have did some shit on the way up that you don't remember what? Like what 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 happened? What? I don't know. I gotta just think think hard. You need to call this motherfucker new freezer. It's cold as a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you lay a hood on this motherfucker. <laughs> oh my god. Mm, man, I don't know, bro. I always try to figure that shit out. Bro. Maybe it could be all the things we said today that that the reason that they feel that way. I don't know, bro. Do you care? I do, but I don't. I care about my career. I care about me being the best I can be. Um, and just having this little little bit of longevity that I have in the in the game just already. I still don't feel like I reached my full potential. Yeah. Steve ain't even dropping the music. Exactly. You know, <laughs> shit. Put the music out. Right. He's twenty eight years old. Stop. Yeah. Put the music out. No kid. Well, you ready to go around the world. That yes. shit you got on your hard drive. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> shit. I'll put that shit out, bro. Hey, let's put this shit out. <laughs> Real shit. Let's go street, street. Let's go street. Let's go, man. Shout out street is it, man? Hold Sorry. me down for a minute, man. I always been in my corner. You feel? Me? What we doing, Scream? What's something you say to the artists? You know what I'm saying? To motivate them, like maybe some game or gym. Uh, you know, so they maybe can learn from some of your path. Um, um, I don't even know. Wow, I don't like to give advice because I don't like to give wrong advice, but, but it's all advice, good advice. It's your perspective. Hey, yeah. I don't just go with your good. Sometimes you yeah. gotta all the time. Yeah, like you gotta go to good sometimes, and this this shit is tricky. This business, this shit become your life, and it get tricky. You know, if you ain't paying attention to everything, you feel yeah, yeah, shit. And sometimes you can't pay attention to everything. Yeah. But you gotta try. You know, you gotta try. Um, but I, like we said, bro, God, I got a plan. So I would tell them all that and tell them that God just got a plan for you. Yeah. yeah. So just, you got to believe in that. For yeah. sure. What you feel like your focus need to be like right now in the moment? Like, my focus need to be this. I need to do this. The, 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 the rollout of this, this what's new for Schoolie, just the whole entire rollout of 
life change and me being different or dropping consistent, like we said, uh, mm-hmm. staying just on task, you know, with me. Um, attention has gotten taken off me a lot of times too at the time of stardom, if you want to call it that. Yeah. Like, so that has been a problem too with me, you know, just on my journey. You know, a lot of things I've let just sit in front of me, sit in my way. And I watched it unfold. I knew what, what's going to happen. I still let it, you know. And I had to change from that, you know. But I guess we learned from all our mistakes. Nigga, you know, a nigga don't stay relevant for that long. Like, but you have. That's, you know what, what, that's what, that's so what, that's what made yeah, me so great. Like, yeah, because it's, right. it's I, be, a reason, I be getting to start thinking, you know, like, I be like looking at, be thinking about it, like, bro, like, you still who you is talking to myself and then I just start thinking like bro like just on some new shit like who you know ain't dropped nobody at work in the last in two years not last who you know ain't dropped nobody at work in two years and still got more shows than me or get more shows than me you get what I'm saying just, yeah. I'm just talking about in the area you feel me yeah. like niggas dropping you nigga drop it. Mm-hmm. You know, so if they have shows, you post have shows for sure. Yeah. But I'm talking about like, I ain't dropped about it at work in two years. I got a show every other weekend. And books, so like, it just, I'm grateful for a lot of shit. You know, it's a lot of shit that could not be happening. Well, right. You know, exactly. you know, so it ain't no just, I'm gonna give up, bro. I'm sticking there. I'm, I'm, like y'all said, you, know. you think you, but do you think you got them like put one hundred percent like school? I'm waking up one hundred percent rapper. Yeah, I don't want to be nothing else, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't, I don't feel like I'm gonna be anything else, bro. I don't feel like I'm gonna be the best I can be, like I am with this shit. Yeah, with the music shit. Like that, you that's your purpose. Like this, yeah. Like yeah. I think I was put for this shit. Yeah, I don't. This was like even with rich kid, like. In a way, this shit was a jewel for them yeah. at all. Like yeah. Yeah. before they figured out what it could become, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, what yeah. it was for real. Yeah, for what was on paper? Yeah, like it was, it was, it was like a jewel. Like, but Caleb would tell you like on some real nigga shit. Like, man, this shit, I just, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Caleb getting money already. Yeah. He, he first nigga showed me how to gamble, get money. Like, you know, all yeah, the, whatever yeah, yeah. I need to be doing in the street. <laughs> like, yeah. first nigga like they put me down. Like, yeah. like that's how you. How you yeah. move, how we move. Yeah. But, so I kind of like learned a little life from Charlie, and he'll still tell you like to this day. You know what I'm saying? Um, like that shit is, that shit like, and you know this shit, you love this shit, little bro. Like this shit, this is your life for real, little bro. Like you know what I'm saying? I did this shit. I like to make the money though. Right. You know what I'm saying? So exactly. I like to make money too, but in reality, this is my dream. You yeah. get what I'm saying? So like this, is all I got. That's all I, do you feel that's like that's the reason why you take this shit personal? Like, yeah, I I do. Yeah, yeah. It's like kind of hard. Read. It kind of hard to separate like how you feel about your passion mm-hmm. and then the goddamn look at this shit as business over here. Like yeah. this shit just business. You can't look at it like that because you feel like, bro, this my purpose. Mm-hmm. All right, I play with my purpose type shit. Yeah, because it was on some like. Niggas getting, niggas getting paper, you feel me? Back in the day, niggas getting paper. So, like, if we, if we go to this show or we, and we miss this motherfucker, you hear me? Shout out to them coming back. Get this shit going. I ain't got nothing going because I don't do that. I ain't, I'm around this shit all day. My whole life been been around this shit. Trap, like, no matter what it is, they trap. Been around this shit my whole life, just. I ain't, that ain't that ain't me. You feel me? Yeah. I got my own weed strand, my own weed company, my own cannabis company, and everything. I'm just saying, like that wasn't like my. I ain't had no second thing, bro. Yeah. I ain't had no bounce back or fall back on type shit. Like so, if yeah. I made this show, it was over with for me. But y'all, you know what I'm saying? So it was just different. So, mm-hmm. and that's how I kind of like figured out, like, oh, this is my passion. I don't even want to do nothing else. I ain't know if I didn't want to do nothing else. I, it was certain shit in my life. It was just 
I don't know, it might sound weird. It's just certain shit in my life I did just to see if I could do it. Just to see, like, no, that oh, don't shit. Sound weird at all. oh, shit, I, I can do that. Like, I'm, I'm saying weird as in, like, certain things as mm-hmm. in my hair. Yeah. Like, I, I started growing my hair just to see. Like, every time I was little, so my my, my daddy, like, it went my mom. So it was my yeah. daddy making me get a haircut every time I get that motherfucker, like, how, how we used to have a little afro, whatever. Mm-hmm. So it was, that was like a, a little goal for me, like, I wonder if I can grow my hair. I wonder if I can really get long hair, hair dreads. I yeah. want long hair, boom. And that was like one of them things. Rap, rapping and singing. That was one of them things. Went to K Rail Studio yeah. in the basement, yeah. and they just playing beats. And I, I say, shit. I wonder if I could really do this shit. I'd be thinking about it at the house and shit. And I'd be doing like yeah. people like this before that shit. People was coming knocking on my mama door. Can your son come out here and sing to me? You know what I'm saying? That was, oh, yeah. that was around time like that Lord and Lil Wayne shit was like, yeah. stop. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm singing that shit in the night. Yeah. It's the latest. Before Jimmy be saying, but yes. I, without no boots. This no was like, none of this yeah. shit. I went never in no yeah, 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 yeah. That's how I started. So, yeah. so me just been through all that. We first went to k Rail Studio, but we had we in, in the bar, in the basement, and I said that myself. Like, I'm like, like, shit, go, go try some shit. I already had verse. Had never let them hear me sing. <laughs> you already had a verse ready. I already wrote verse. <laughs> yeah, um, listen, I yeah. wasn't playing back then. I was more excited, kind of like, cause it was like I'm telling you, I wanted to be with them, and I'm mm-hmm. finally with them, and we finna rap mm-hmm. now. Yeah. So you know, I just told myself like, shit, I'm finna go in there, motherfucker, and try to try to do the little harmony shit I be doing and shit. Like I wasn't calling it harmony. I'm just saying now, and nigga. I saw that what's up like that, bro. I couldn't believe that I did. You get what I'm saying? Like just, mm-hmm. and it wasn't even just, you know, just crazy. Just, but, but, but it was unique. It was my voice and it was yeah. unique. And that shit was like. That the first time like, oh, this shit hard. Yeah, that what's up? No, nah, it's not. It's not the first song I recorded. I recorded at the barber shop and shit a couple times. Like, like I'm telling you people, no, to my like first song. Niggas been saying like, potential Risky. in the nigga, so like, mm-hmm. yes, that's the first yeah. song. Yeah. But yeah. I'm talking about like going to the barbershop, them times when I'm saying the neighborhood and shit. Niggas at the barbershop, my boy Bell, shout out to Bell, on Bankhead, and he used to play. After you get your hair cut, boy, we can go in the back. Well, you can, you can, <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Um, then, uh, in the hood, uh, I was recording like with, with, with Jet Um, it's about on them beats over the yeah, K-Rap. Yeah, K-Rap, that was, just, that was me and Caleb them. And we yeah. just, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause that was, he was already like a part of that family. Like K-Rap yeah. them already, like the pool powder shit. That's yeah. Caleb. Mm-hmm. Caleb, Caleb and his dad and them like, just Bankhead, Toe Jam, all that shit. Yeah. That we were, Toe Jam. Every time something going down, like we right Shout out to Pudge, pack. man, and the Magical Burgers. For sure, for sure. <laughs> like, I say that, shout out to Pudge, man. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Shit, that's basically. So when you did that, what they what them niggas looking like? When they heard it like y'all played it back. I was looking it's I was looking more static than them, huh? Like, cause I don't know if y'all like it or y'all just saying like I don't know because I don't, like I was saying I'm scared of just but I just did it and I think it sounded all right. Man, they were like, why this shit hard? Caleb, like, why this shit hard? Hell, hell, you talking about, boy, I gotta get my verse done. Caleb, like, I gotta get my verse done. Boy, I've already got verse. Oh, you went verse and Brr, verse. Brr, yeah. Right after I sang. What you doing like that, school boy? I be balling. I had Ben wrote that motherfucker. You hear me? <laughs> ben wrote that motherfucker right Talk on the sitting, loaded. right at the house. You hear me? <laughs> bro, I wrote, like, it was just, that's why I said it. If I go through some, like it'd be different. I had a different creative process. Like, yeah. Bro, I was, when I wrote I See You, the Brian Rich Kid back, like me and Caleb. Mm. And I had three verses on it. I wrote that in my grandma living room, mm. one bedroom apartment. I'm going, that's why I'm sneaking off from and shit like that. Like, this was before it happened. Like, rich kids ain't no more. I'm still going to school. Like, boom. Kind of like we got like a slick black ball type shit on us. Like, mm. boom. Don't fuck with them boy. I did love a nigga. Him. Thug mm-hmm. love a nigga. Yeah. Man, thug. 
going to Dundee when he was right there on downtown. Mm-hmm. Like, Barsha, like you remember yeah. that he used to drop us out too. He <laughs> he got down. We up there like, and you know, like me, that was kind of like at that time. Like I'm I'm around everybody. Like Jay take me around everybody too. Like so I'm around like y'all, John Burr Late Wood, mm-hmm. goddamn, like Boulevard. We, um, you know, everybody like, like how I'm saying when I was young, how Caleb ha- had everybody know who I was before I came out of school. Mm-hmm. Jay kind of like, you know what I'm saying, like took me every area. Yeah. It wasn't no, it wasn't no, you know what I'm saying, yeah. guards on no area with me. Mm-hmm. So, I don't been to every side of town. I ain't got no problem no nigga from no side of town. Right. I, you know, I don't dislike no side of town. I don't been on every side of town. That nigga fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, damn! You used to take me everywhere, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't I had to drive Jay home, boy? <laughs> that serious police, listen, police behind us. I ain't got a liquor license. I'm, oh too, God. Young. I'm too young. Oh but God! I be with Jay every day. Like we might not even go in the house, bro. Like six in the morning. Bro. We ain't even in the house. We at the gambling spot. <laughs> She did not coming out of that motherfucker though. I'm in the truck. I'm sitting in the truck. She always got a damn truck. So this one time she had a car. Bro, she like, I ain't gonna Remember lie. Remember when you left drive. me at the plane? Man, she like, I ain't gonna I was gonna lie. so mad at you. Ooh, I had hit somebody <laughs> shit in your truck at the plane. So I hit somebody <laughs> shit. <laughs> like the time went up on their time, they went on around and shit. But I guess they ain't leaving no mark. She had a little Z71, a little Chevrolet one. But this time, Rob, bro, she like, I can't. She like, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. School, you gonna have to drive. You gonna have to drive. <laughs> so I'm like, what? For real? I've been driving though. So jump in drive. See, bro, police probably up for 20 minutes straight. Bro. Oh God. I'm what? talking about all the way down Lee Street, all the way down. Canada. And this was when I had the office of CTE, Boy. and Kink had just gave me this safe. Uh, I don't know. We had a they safe on off. the back of the truck. What? They turned off. They turned off like. At the church is on Camelton, boy. Man. That's how far they run with us behind us. Like, I'm just trying, I'm just driving straight. Like, <laughs> all blinker doing everything right, bro. Because like, if they would have whooped it anything, man, I would have went to jail for fucking child endangerment. <laughs> <laughs> man. Boy, we had some days, boy. Golly. That shit crazy. Oh, gee. Uh, oh, oh, baby. <laughs> hey, Schooly, drop that shit, man. Yeah. yeah. Drop so, that shit. That's the moral of this story. That's the moral of this story. Got you, man. Yes. Schooly, you got to drop. Can you make a promise to your family? Your family Pinky swear, you, you know I play about that. Yeah, I'm okay. about to drop, and we're going to stay consistent. It's about to, you know, like, it's about to change. This shit about to be different. So no one improves schooling skate SB, you know, the original SB. For sure. Drop that shit, schooling. We appreciate you pulling up. Yeah. yeah. Check us out at www.bigfactspod.com. Salute.